It's exciting to be in God's presence, excited to share His Word tonight in the name of Jesus. We pray tonight that all this COVID-19 lockdown and all these things will go and leave our country and leave the earth in Jesus' name. And everyone say, Amen. Let us pray together. Pray, Lord God of heaven. Your word says we two or more agree on something. You will give it to us. We pray tonight in Jesus' name that you stop the coronavirus, the fakeness about it, and that you reveal its true identity. And people will overthrow it worldwide in the name of Jesus. Lord God of heaven, we thank you for grace that you restore our economy in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. The reason I pray this is because some people, evil people, have got the, the intention that the economy should go down because they've got an evil plan. To establish the hidden agendas, they will even use a thing like the coronavirus to bring the economy down for evil reasons and evil demonic, satanic um, motives. So we pray against that in Jesus' name. We pray that people will make it, that people will stand up, and people will see corona for what it is, because corona is a very dangerous thing. Take your seat, I tell you about corona. Let me tell you, not like a medical doctor, the number one thing about corona, it's a sickness and a disease which will kill weak people and old people. Not easily young people. I mean, many people die of many other things in our country and around, around the world, bronchitis, um, flu, etc., etc. So there's a medical thing about it. But the medical thing is not that big. It's, oh, it's, it's blown up. Completely blown up. There's a hidden agenda behind the blown up medical thing. And the hidden agenda is number one, politically. Politically, so that Satan can bring down the existing uh, structures so that he can establish what he wants to establish. So number one, yeah, it's a medical thing, but not as dangerous as they make it. There's many other things that are far more dangerous than COVID-19. But COVID-19 is also, this, uh, the other side about COVID-19 is a political agenda. We pray against that political agenda and we pray that God will expose that in Jesus' name. That's our duty to pray. Because the Bible says, if the people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and turn away from the wicked ways, I will heal their land. So, the number one thing about COVID-19 is it's a sickness. It is a medical condition. But very much blown up. Very much blown up. Number two, it's got a political side about it. To bring the human race and the existing structures to its knees so that Satan can take over. Now the Bible speaks about that. That's the anti Antichrist heart. And uh, there's some who will restrain that. And I'm one of those restrainers. I pray against that evil political agenda. Now the Bible says, anyone who dig a hole for another man will fall himself in that. Now the people who've got this political agenda, I pray they will self fall into their own hole. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we pray tonight that everyone that's got a political agenda with COVID-19, a very wicked agenda, will fall in their own hole in the name of Jesus and that those who are not guilty, hardworking people who built up businesses for many years will survive and God will bless them in Jesus' name. And we say, Amen. Amen. That's the two sides about COVID-19, medically, politically, okay? Then there's the spiritual side, the spiritual side. The very political people that drive and use COVID-19 to establish very, very evil political agendas is also wanting and doing so, establishing spiritual, a very wicked spiritual agenda. And I remember the dream, I will never forget it, I had a dream. And I was in the Free State in Welcom, and the Welcom and Free State is the center of the country. That means it represents the whole country. And in that, in the Free State, and um, there was a huge, enormous, huge reticulated python. Now, anyone who knows snakes, the, ret the reticulated python is the biggest python on the earth. 
very dangerous man-eating python, well known for eating humans. Okay? And you only get reticulated python in Asia, China. That's where it came from. Now, this dream I had more or less five years, I think five years ago. And then there were many people, and I could see the people. Some of them I, I acknowledged. I saw their faces. I recognized their faces. Were preachers, pastors, prophets, etc., etc., evangelists. That had many, there were many white taxis, or not so many. I make a mistake, not so many. But there were white taxis, like the, we know taxis. But the drivers were pastors and preachers and evangelists. And they loaded up the people who wanted to flee this, this thing, this um, reticulated python. The reticulated python has got many colors. Actually, a beautiful skin snake. His skin is amazing, beautiful. Got different colors, purple, yellow, etc., etc., blue. Very, very nice color and patterns on the, on the skin. But extremely, extremely ma dangerous, man-eating python. Very, very dangerous snake. Not poisonous, but extremely dangerous. It eat people. So I've seen the reticulate python, and the people are trying to flee this huge python in the middle of the country, meaning it's in the center of the country. And then in those days, I knew that the danger will come from China. I was always concerned, as a person that got a sober mind and a Christ mind, I always thought that our problem will come from Russia. But Russia and China are in the same boat, they brothers. They brothers. And then I didn't know exactly what it is, but I saw the many preachers and evangelists and pastors riding these taxis and trying to load as many people as possible into these taxis because the people wanted to flee this reticulated python. The reticulated python represents two things as I see it today. Number one, COVID-19. But COVID-19 has got a financial side. I forgot it now, but now I've got it. Thank you, Jesus. The other side about COVID-19 is finances. It's politically, it's finances to bring down the existing financial structures. Worked by Satan. Worked by Satan. Now, there's the two things that are our enemy today, and people want to flee it, obviously. They want to flee the coronavirus, and they're very scared of this virus. But let me tell you, don't be scared of the virus. You're a born-again Christian. This thing cannot kill you. It will not kill you, except maybe if you're old, because many old people, even Christians, die of many different, die of flu. Die of flu, bronchitis, etc., etc. I remember two years ago or a year ago, there's a woman that I know, a pastor's wife. We knew her so well. It was a shock to me. She just all of a sudden just died so soon and so quickly of flu, bronchitis, going over into bronchitis, and they, so by the way, knew a couple of medical doctors as their friends. They were all there trying to save her, all the friends, around the bed. They couldn't do nothing. She was just, wow, all of a sudden just gone, slipping into eternity. No one could stop it. That's how easy people die. Easy, easy of flu, bronchitis. I tell you, corona is not that dangerous. Any sickness is dangerous. But that one is not more dangerous than others. But the coronavirus got its medical side, its political side, and its political agenda, which is extremely ins wicked and inspired by Satan. Otherwise, God will not show me that as wicked. And then it's got this. It's got a political and financial agenda. And that's how Satan wants to bring disaster upon the human race and destroy the existing structures and replace it with wicked structures that will bring about great poverty and disaster on the earth. And that's the devil's plan. But there is people who are praying. And devil, you will not get your way. And your servants of Satan, you will not get your way. And I want to say tonight, anyone that is a friend of the reticulated python is a son of Satan. Because they want to bring down the existing structures. And so doing, impoverished, impoverished, making the human race poor and powerless to so struggle for survival. So we pray against that in Jesus' name. Pray with me, Lord God. Thank you that we can stand tonight against the reticulated python. The man-eating reticulated python. In Jesus' name. Anyone that is a friend of the Chinese government is a friend 
of the reticulated man-eating python that has got three sides. COVID-19 is not only a disease. COVID-19 has got, like the reticulated python, he's got many triangles on his body. Yellow, purple, different colors. And that's why I saw it like that. Now, it's got actually many triangles on, on its body, the patterns. I wonder if we can maybe put that on a photo at some point. Now, let me tell you, coronavirus is not only a disease. It's got three sides to it. COVID-19 has got three sides. It's got the political side, which many people start to see. It's got a financial side. And it's got a medical side. So that is a triple, and the Bible says a threefold cord. It's not easily broken. You get three cold, fro, fo, three, threefold cords that is godly, and there's threefold cords that is ungodly. And tonight we're going to pray in Jesus' name. And anyone that's got a sober mind will pray with me. That this threefold cord, that's what I saw in the reticulated python. I know, I know them very well. They've got triangles and patterns all over their body. And COVID-19 is not only a disease. I tell you tonight from heaven, it's not, that it's not only a disease. It's got three sides. Planned by wicked, evil people to bring, bring down the existing structures, the existing human, human, family, governmental structures on the earth to bring it down. That's the Antichrist work. And anyone that is a friend with these people is a friend of the man-eating, giant, reticulated man-eating python. And it does not have the well-being of the human race in mind. But the devil's going to lose. That's the good news. Because God gave me a dream the other night. Wow! Give God a hand. Amen. God knew what was coming. God knew. I actually want to sent out this message far. And I saw the different evangelists putting the people in the taxis, white taxis. Now, white taxis represent a white horse because a horse is a vehicle in the Old Testament. In the olden days, was a, the vehicle of the people. Now, a taxi today is also a vehicle. And ministries is always vehicles. It's a vehicle by which you use to save God's people, to carry God's people to their destiny, etc., etc., so Jesus said in the Revelation, the book of Revelation, will you ride with me? And he's on a white horse. A white horse is always a war horse. In the olden days, a white horse is a war horse. It was all the Spanish Andalusian horses of uh, the Iberian horses of Spain and Portugal. That's what the whole of Europe used as war horses. White Spanish and Portuguese horses. And Jesus said, will you ride with me? And the armies of heaven is riding with him. You can read it yourself in the book of Revelation. So whenever you dream about the vehicle, you know this is a, you're in a vehicle that is always, always a ministry. So people don't ride horses today. They, ride, they drive in vehicles. Same thing. Amen. So I saw the many pastors and evangelists putting the people in the taxis and caused them to flee and to escape the reticulated python. It's got triangles on its body. You can go check it up. COVID-19 has got three sides. COVID-19 is not only a disease. It's planned. It is master planned by the most wicked people on the earth. It's got a political side. It's, it's got a financial side. And it's got a medical side. And that's exactly Satan's plan. But Satan is not going to be successful because I had another dream. Keep your hand for godly dreams. This dream was more or less three years ago or five. I can't, I can't really not. I think three years ago. The guys who remember I told you that. I spoke often about it. So COVID-19, the big reticulated python is here from China. Because that snake exists in China. Very, 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 very wicked snake that eat people. It's a man-eater. But I had another dream. I had a dream last week that um, I was in a dream, and I'm going to say it again. I already told the people. Uh, we were concerned because there came a big onslaught of the enemy. And that onslaught is coming. And that onslaught is the, if I see it now, is the big reticulated python, the man-eating serpent. 
And all the people were worried and concerned, and the angels made known. It's coming a big attack against the church, this church, and the church of Jesus in South Africa. I speak about the born-again church. I don't speak about the religious churches. I speak about the spirit-filled born-again churches globally and in South Africa and this specific church as well. A huge attack come against us. But then the angel told us this, and everyone was concerned, and um, I immediately commanded Pastor Vim, and he knew what he got to do. He's my, many times he's organizing and mobilizing the prayer warriors. I've got many prayer warriors here, but he's normally the one who put it on WhatsApp and mobilize the people to pray. And he was started, to, started to try to get his phone and try to organize and mobilize the people. But then another angel came and said to me, and everyone could hear it, and Pastor Vim here they heard it as well. And the angel said this, the least among you will overcome Satan. Give God a hand. Amen. Speaking to the Christian church, speaking to us as a church, speaking to the church of Jesus globally, the least among you, even your children, and the most simple-minded among you, will overcome the devil. I saw some of the people in the congregation. I saw people with, who are in high positions, and I saw people with very lowly positions in life. There is. We honor them all. Amen. I saw them all in the dream. Dream vision. It was an open vision. Dream. I cannot say it was a dream. It was an open vision, whatever it was. And the angel declared. The least among you, even your children, even your own children. He spoke to me about Joshua, Caleb, and Jemal. Even the least among you and your own children and the children will defeat the devil. Because you got the name of Jesus. Give God a hand. Amen. 